my dear viewers welcome to my youtube channel today i shall discuss about working principle of unload tap changer and changing process of a power transformer please watch subject of the day unload tap changing procedure of a power transformer necessity of tap changing in power transformer when a transformer is connected to a system it is necessary that arrangement be provided to maintain normal voltage at the secondary load side under load conditions in the case of tap changing normal voltage at the load side is maintained by connecting taps at suitable position of windings for variation of number of turns at primary side hence the tap changing gears must be careful to change the turn ratio with or without interruption of power supply tap changing is done under two process offload tap changing onload tap changing necessity of onload tap changer in power transformer to overcome the difficulties of power interruption in offload tap changer during tap changing power transformer are generally provided with onload tap changer oltc where tap changing is accomplished without any break of power supply this arrangement is economical especially in the case of hv transformer in power transformer generally voltage regulation more than plus minus 15% is not required a few conditions of operating oltc a before one tap is left open contact must be made to the next tapping therefore the selected switch in onload tap changers is a make before break switch b during the transition period from one tap to another momentary connection must be made between two adjacent taps which results short circuit of turns between the taps c the circulating short circuit current is invariably limited by introduction of two resistors in bidirectional oltc d maintenance of circuit continuity throughout the tap changing operation otherwise there will be discontinuity of power supply and total disruption working principle of an oltc the figure shows circuit arrangement one page of a bidirectional oltc this is an image of a single phase windings with a series of tappings are taken to show the tap changing process S1 and S2 the selected switches S1 is on tap 1 and S2 is on tap 2 diverter switch DS S3 is shown connecting tap 1 to the neutral point of winding switching sequence for change over to tap 2 is as follows 1 contact a and b are closed that is resistance r1 bdr sorted 
an external mechanism drives the DS-S3 contact with gates open. The load current now flows from tap 1 through R1 and contact A. The DS-S3 continues its travel further to left. Contact D and A close and R1 gates open. Both the registers R1 and R2 are connected across the tap 1 and tap 2 and the load current in addition to short circuit current due to voltage across tap 1 and tap 2 flows through these resistance to their midpoint at the junction of A and D. 4. When S3 moves still further to the left, contact A is opened. The load current flows through register R2 and contact D. 5. Next, as the DSS3 reaches to more left, contact C and D get close and R2 is short circuited. Finally, DSS3 moves extreme left, then contact C closes, R2 gets open circuited. The load current from tap 2 flows through contact C and this is the running position of tap 2. Follow steps for a few more tap changing shown in animation. Please subscribe, share and like, also do comment. Thank you for watching this video.